Right guys, well today in the workshop we've got a truly special build. Um, this ram was built up mainly from Mike from Outback Kidders for the God of Thunder. So absolutely privileged to be part of this build. And I must be honest, this Ram Rebel Sports came out absolutely stunning. So it's a 1500 Ram Rebel running the 5.7 litre Hemi V8 engine in it. And um, going off the front of the vehicle, we've got an integrated light force LED light bar in the front, which just came out really, really neat inside of the um, bumper integration there. On the top of the vehicle, you can see this really nice slick roof rack from Outback Hitters, as well as the side um, lights over there, giving you, especially for camping, nice easy side access lights and viewing lights that you can see out there. Now on these, I've got the drop down side steps as a standard feature on the Rebels. And I must say the interior of this car is really, really well built as well. Now, it's got a four inch lift in it. It's a full air suspension, four inch lift by BDS suspension, running a set of method race wheels on the front end, as well as a set of Toyo open country, rough terrain, 35 inch tires. And it really, really suits this build. Now on the back end of the vehicle is a RSI smart cap canopy. We've designed up a custom frame to raise the rooftop tent above the roof rack. So it clears the roof rack really neatly. We had the privilege of installing our TX27 rooftop tent onto the top of this, as well as a 270 XT awning, just to finish up with a perfect camping trip. Now, in the rear of this vehicle as well, a really nice and smart layout on the top, still keeping it super practical. On the left-hand side, you've got a full box, which is basically designed to be your kitchen, your battery supplies, st spare storage for any of those nice whiskey bottles to store away. Really nice ALB fridge on a slide-out, pull-out slide, as well as a bottom drawer, which pulls out to house a Safari induction cooker. Running 225 amp hours of lithium battery with a full DC-DC charging system, feeding power to the rear. Um, basically, rear extra battery in the back, as well as a 35 liter integrated water tank. Now the water tank is fed up and underneath to the rear bumper and the build quality on it is absolutely stunning. Anyway, let's get into the top of the tent. So when it comes to opening up the TX27 tent, I'm just going to grab the ladder out the rear of the vehicle. So we're going to use the ladder in this situation to set the tent up. So close this again. There we go. Pull the ladder rungs out, support it from the bottom. So locking it out into position all the way from the bottom like that. And then I can actually go and hook it and it locks into place. So it's extremely secure and ready. Because the TX27 rooftop tent is a dual opening tent, we've got to release the front latches first. So I'll just get onto the step, release the latch on this side, walk around the front while releasing the latch on the other side on the front as well. And that's just gonna open up that front layer of this tent. There we go. You can see it'll open up partially. And we've got an internal strap that secures it into position so that it doesn't, so it's easier to close up on the other end. So in a reverse effect, release the latches there, get up onto the rear. The tent will automatically go up on its gas struts, pull the bungee cord down, and you've got your two larger spring rods to hook into first. I like hooking them into the eyelets first, bringing with your two hands, basically bringing it into position, pulling down, and inserting it into the stainless steel spring rod guides on the corners of the tent. So take that, there we go. Now, climbing into the tent, I can easily get to the front, unlatch the carabiner clip on the inside, and you'll notice that the front or the top of it actually pops up into its second stage. Pull down the bungee cord, now this is so good, you can actually come in and out of this tent and use this as an exit point. So if you wanted to get to the top of your roof rack, you could easily. Now, we've got two front spring rods that secure the front rain fly of this tent. And also notice on these tents, you've got six large openings. You've got three potential door openings as well as three additional windows. All midi meshed, full double skin canvas as well. Now, once the tent is set up, for an entry point, you would simply unhook the ladder, move it to the side and use the side door entry as an option, like such, if you wanted to keep the awning open. So opening up the 270 XT awning, this is the easy part. It's honestly our quickest deployed awning that we have. You've got these two Velcro straps, release the canvas like that 
and simply walk. The one set of arms will drag all the rest into position around like that. Hook it into place and tension it. All you're doing is pulling it to roughly 90 degrees. This is going to give more than enough room. As you can see, the awning well clears the rear. You've got full access into, you've got full access into the back as well. Fridge is covered, even your cooker in place over there. And opening up the side of the canopy, more than enough coverage out the side. The guys have attached an exo gear speaker in there as well, just for those tunes on the beach. Guys, thanks for watching this walkthrough of um, the full um, Rebel build. And I must be honest, it came out an absolute stunner. Thanks again to Mike from Outback Kitters. For more information on our products, the 270XC awning as well as the TX27 rooftop tent, go to our website at thebushcompany.com. Thanks for watching and don't forget to go bush. I'll catch you later.